Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morrell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So that's all of you with lumps and bumps and school runs to go on and busy lives and probably just going out maybe once a month. So it's about making people's wardrobes relative to their actual life rather than their fantasy life. And today we are going to be joined by the super gorgeous Ellie. I have met Ellie before. I did an online Zoom consultation for Ellie. I did actually record it, actually, come to think about it. So I might even ask her if I can put it on YouTube. We'll ask her that later on. But anyway, today we are going to dress her. She's full of gorgeous curves. I think she's a little bit heavier around the bottom area from memory, but we'll find out today. And we're going to dress her live on YouTube. So there's gonna be some things that work, some things that don't work, but we will share as much of it with you as possible. So as always, if you could press that subscribe, like or share, it really does make a huge difference to me. Basically, it's the way that we make money on YouTube. So if that subscribe button isn't pressed, then then we're pretty much working for free. So it would be really appreciated if you could do that for me today, if you enjoy that video. Just before she gets here, I just thought I would show you my dress. So everything is linked for you, by the way. We always link everything that we show on the video. So just go under the video description and you'll see one link. You click on that one link. And when you do so, all of the items from the video will show up all on one board. So this dress is from Me and M. It is currently half price. It's got loads of things going on for it that will make it a really good dress for a lot of you. So we've got the extra width on the shoulders here. So remember you need that if you've got a big bust. You need that if you've got a big tummy because that gives us the starting point of the hourglass shape and makes everything else look smaller. And the fact that you've got a separate waistband here is going to bring you in at the waist. It's got pockets. We love a pocket, you know that. And the detailing on it is lovely. I'll do a close up for you, but it's got like a double stitch down the side here. And yeah, I really, really like it. So I've got it on today with some little cowboy boots, but some nice white boots would look lovely, or maybe even some nice, long, more elegant sort of style of boot. You could put a jumper over this, so you could make it really, really versatile. And yeah, I think it's great bargain at half price as well. Okay, so here she is, she's arrived. This is Ellie, everybody. So first of all, thank you for thank coming. You. It's so exciting, oh, I can't wait. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I was telling them that we have worked together before on Zoom, haven't we? So. I've had a little heads up, I've had a little bit of the uh, <laughs> the advice and the tips already. Yeah. yeah, so I have asked her to come looking like she's not uh, completely dressed in what she would ordinarily wear, just <laughs> so that I could show you her body shape, really. So let's start by doing that. So. Probably the first question I always ask my clients, as you know, is what areas are you con conscious of? Where do you feel like you put on weight? Hips and bum, and then laterally belly. Okay, all right. And you had an ankle operation? I had an ankle operation about two years ago, so my ankles are not right. as slim as they used to be. And I think it's also just mid-life, isn't it? Everything's yeah. sort of starting to change a little bit. Yeah, of course. Okay, so she was just saying to me off camera that she hears me saying all the time, show off your slimmest part of, of you being your ankles. And you you feel like you can't do that anymore, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it used to be, yeah. and I also used to be able to wear heels. So whatever was going on in the rest of me, heels, jeans, you could get away with it. Yes, that's another could. area I can't. Um, but I've got to be a bit more creative with. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to do that today. I have got you some heels, but they're really tiny little cool. kitten heels to try today, just to elongate a frame. And we can do things like with a more pointed shoe yeah, is okay. going to elongate you rather than a rounded shoe. But let's start by looking at her um, body shape then. If you can just face in the camera here. So what I see is, well, what I look for first of all is the widest point on somebody. So I think with Ellie, it is down here on her hip area. So once we've got that widest point, what I want you to remember is that you're trying to recreate the hourglass shape. So I can't do anything about that, uh, the width of that point. So it means that that is the bottom of my hourglass shape. So up here being the top part of my hourglass shape, I need to bring that out in in line with the hip area when i do so her waist which she said she's still a little bit conscious of 
is going to come in and look smaller. So when I do that, the hourglass shape is there, which means that clothes are going to fit her better. She's going to look more in proportion. And even though I'm broadening you, you are going to look smaller overall. So you just gotta trust me. Can't wait. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to show you, this is what Ellie has been wearing. <laughs> And she's probably been wearing this to hide herself. Would that be I think right? It's a fair assimilation. A fair ass <laughs> that was assumption. She does definitely not need to hide herself. But to be fair on Ellie, how she has been styling it as being with this denim jacket. A little redeeming feature. A little redeeming feature is the fact that this jacket is offering some structure to that and is just nippering her in a little bit at the waist. But still, we can do better. We can we can do better. <laughs> so for any of you out there who have been wearing these tent dresses, please take Ellie's lead and show that figure off because you are going to look smaller when you do so. Free the figure. Free the figure. <laughs> it's my new slogan. <laughs> Forget maximum style, minimum effort. Free the figure. <laughs> Just where Liz getting changed, these are the two boots that we're going to try on her. But because of her ankle shape and having had an operation on it, these don't have a zip down the side. So she might actually struggle getting those on, where these ones are completely different style, but they've got a zip down. So we'll try both of them and see which one works. But that is a close-up of them for you, because sometimes I know the shoes don't show up that well on the camera once everything's cropped and all the editing is done. So that's them and they'll all be linked for you. <laughs> so we just put her in something that I think it's fair to say you would have never ever <laughs> dreamt of wearing. True. Is that right? It's the kind of thing I'd see in somebody else and think, that looks amazing, I could never wear that. But I'm so surprised. What makes you think you couldn't wear it? Well, because it's, my waist is the area that I tend to sort of try and hide. So I go big on the top and slim on the legs. And as we've talked about, that silhouette's not working anymore. No, no. So by embracing the waist and having lots of this go on, it yeah. kind of feels like there's comfort, there's lots of... Um, Space. Yes. And oh, oh, sorry. There we go, Monty. Hello. Hi. There we go. Oh, dirty as a girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> literally just coming from a walk and shaped everywhere. And Monty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we have literally just been splashed <laughs> by Monty, who has been on a walk. So bear with us one minute, we'll be back in a second. Really, really sorry about that. We <laughs> had the door open, Monty was on a dog walk with the dog walker and then just rushed in. So I do apologise, we're back to, back to normal now. Stole we stole the show. We stole the show, we literally wiped ourselves <laughs> down with anti back wipes. What about the jumpsuit? <laughs> <laughs> the jumpsuit stayed clean though, we're all right. Okay, so I'm not quite sure where I got to, so let's start at the beginning. I think Ellie was just saying that she feels really comfortable and like she couldn't have worn this before. Mm. So it's just doing everything for her. So it's cinching her in here at the waist. Even though it is a tapered leg, it's still got the volume around here that it's not really, really clinging. So it's still giving her a lovely shape. Again, if you just go forward, that's it on the camera. Now, the one thing I would change or add is a little bit of a shoulder pad here. I haven't done so, so far. And in an ideal world, that seam would be right on the top of the shoulder blade there because that's what like my dress yeah that's what would give and like in keep the denim dress yeah that will keep you doing that okay. and would have saved you from having to wear a shoulder pad okay so because you know when we get to summer and hot and things like that we don't want to add all this extra bulk so if you're looking for a jumpsuit then try and get one that comes out right from the shoulder okay. but it's not always going to be possible and i don't want you not buying the jumpsuit just because of that because we've got the alternative we can stick the uh, pads in there but it's cutting in beautiful here the v-neck there is going to halve her bust line the line down here is going to add a distraction again if that was just one big patch then um, that would make her look bigger on top but yeah beautiful but I think more importantly you kind of feel nice and fresh you I do you? I do and I wouldn't normally put a boot I wouldn't put a tiny heel with it because I'd want to put a converse with it yeah. but I'm really seeing how sort of um, it gives an edginess to it and it, it kind does. of feels more you know ready to go out yeah exactly but the converse would Equally. work yeah. really really well and if we think about our everyday mm. lives 
Certainly I'm more likely to be in a converse than yes. I am. I'm a heel. You might see me dressed up on these shows, but around the house I'm usually in trainers. So having a versatile piece like this in your wardrobe, really, really good. I love it. Yeah, Go great. On. This beautiful outfit. We're feeling comfortable in this one. Love it. Yeah, yeah. really, really nice. Go on a little bit more funky on this. What if you just want to turn to the side? Oh, look, we're matching. Oh, Ta -da. <laughs> the green is gorgeous it's just going to add that little bit of something different to those trousers and this time we could have very easily put these with some white converse trainers yeah. we'll um, we'll show you a photograph of what that looks like in a moment and then just have the jumper on and then that's a lot more casual for the daytime yeah. but with this beautiful blazer on as well it just elevates it just a little bit yeah. we've got the ruching here in the sleeves so that's already at a three-quarter level for you and I like the styling how that is just coming out there one oh this is what I get asked a lot actually is they say over comments they say if I pull my sleeves up or if I show my ankles my here gets cold or my ankles get cold and my lovely client from Texas actually Jean she texted me the other day to say that she puts long gloves in that area or fashion first <laughs> Always. Oh my goodness, I love you. Because that's really what I would say. But I can't say that to everybody else. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thank you, Jean, for that little tip. But also the extra tip is a jumper like that. And you allow that jumper mm. to fill that space. And then the colour and the contrast between the blazer and the wrist there is actually really nice as well. And the blazer is doing everything. It's shaping her lovely. So yeah, we like that one as well, don't we? Okay, so next up we have got what well, Alicia said, it's a very safe outfit. Now, I think it looks lovely on her, but knowing now Ellie's personality, where she's looking for something a little bit different, a little bit more sort of risky and not so... A bit rocky, uh, a bit edgier. A bit edgier, yeah, yes. But I can appreciate yeah. what you've put together. Yes, exactly. So I think this is a very safe option and a very lovely one. It's lovely and coordinated. I love the boots and the jeans. Yes, yeah, really nice. So if we focus down here for a second, Ellie's area that she's conscious of is her ankles. So this is a great way to hide the ankles and that's by having a sock boot on here. So having a crop trouser here is going to balance out her hips. I'm going to take the jacket off for you in a minute. But obviously it's just filling the gap of where she's conscious. Yeah. Simple as that. And um, they were quite difficult to get on for you, weren't they? Might have been. <laughs> just a little just first a little time. I'm hoping the second time, third time yes. might be easier. But my advice was going to be if that is the case, you could go up a size. Yes. You're better to wear an insole and then not struggle so much around the ankle part. Okay than really sort of yeah because when something's really tough and it's like jeans that are too tight you don't it it doesn't encourage you to wear them does no one's it? got time for that no exactly, exactly. <laughs> this jacket how uh, it feels like hugging a rabbit it feels absolutely <laughs> gorgeous it really is. sumptuous and it also it feels like there's quite a lot of it so it feels really cozy yeah it kind of yeah. feels like a hybrid between a coat and a cardigan yeah it's called a coat that's what that's why we call it. Yep, exactly. We've put the scarf around just to sort of pick up on the colours because we had a neutral top on underneath. But let me just show you that without it. And I'm actually going to de-dress her anyway. But it's a beautiful shape. You can obviously do it up. But I think just le letting it lie open like that mm -hmm. is giving this elongation that we need. And what? How, how tall are you actually? Only five five. Five five. And close size, size do you might say? Sixteen, sometimes an eighteen. Okay. Heading to a fourteen. Heading. <laughs> like the attitude. <laughs> So five five. So what we need to be careful of, we have almost shortened her legs here with the crop. So we have to get that length back somewhere. So we've done that by tucking in the jumper here. But then sometimes when we tuck in the jumper here and we're a bit conscious of our stomach area, you might want that extra layer going over you, which then creates the extra elongation. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like when you pinch from Peter, you give back to Paul up here type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Is that a phrase that everybody knows? No, no, no. I think it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take the jacket off just so everybody can see. So that jacket is from phase eight. And that was a UK 16. Again, everything could be linked. And all we're left with here is just a really nice, simple outfit. Probably the type of outfit that most people wear 
every day but she still looks really nice and coordinated so we could put like a navy blazer with that that would look nice lovely. help you elevate it and the v feels really good because it feels like it's really giving me a little bit of this yes yeah well when we show our flesh here it's very very feminine mm. and if we are feeling a little bit not ourselves or a little bit bigger than we usually are and things like that the femininity that comes out with the wrists the ankles mm. and things like that it really helps us to feel better about ourselves essentially perfect for winter perfect for winter <laughs> We're going to deal with her ankles for summer. Yes. That's, that's the next that's job. Tomorrow's that's, to, that's tomorrow's video. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find just, and how we will do that, in all honesty, is because I know you don't like lock your, your legs. So we will go longer, maxi mm. length on the dress. Yeah. And then just some sandals down below. But we'll probably put a split at the front. Yeah. So some of your, a flash of flesh, joy. A flash, <laughs> a flash of joy is yes. showing, but it's not yes. your ankles. Yes, or the entire yeah. leg either, but yeah. otherwise you can end up just feeling like you're covering everything. Exactly. And that's yeah. No, we don't want to do that. Just before we move on, actually, something I just wanted to mention is when Ellie first put the jumper on. Do you mind turning to yeah. the, 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 the side or the back? So she instantly kind of went like that to cover up the back side. But what that is doing is accentuating the back. Are you all right just continuing? Mm. Yeah. So that's accentuating it. The higher we go, the better the bottom started to look because we're essentially halving the bottom now by doing that. Yeah. Where you were going over it and under. I was so going, look here. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So we just go higher on it like that until you find that comfortable spot. You know, you could probably even go a little bit, a little bit higher. But what we don't want to do with Ellie is go there because then what we're getting is the with your backs coming in and then the bottom is more protruding out yeah. so we do need to go a little bit further down and then it looks like an absolutely fantastic bottom clever adjustments clever adjustments <laughs> okay so personally i think we've got success <laughs> i think she looks beautiful but she said it's not quite her style which is fair enough, and that's what I have to work with because I've got personalities as well as body shapes to deal but with. But I can also well. see the value in what it's doing. Yeah, even though. Um, okay, great. And what it is doing, we're broadening her out here. We're skimming over that widest part, so we're not pulling it in really tight to accentuate it, and it's highlighting her lovely small waist underneath her bust line here. The lines are giving us a separation around this area. So if those buttons weren't down there and it was just one piece of fabric, then she would look a lot broader all the way around. So that's the benefit of that. Also, we've got a little bit of a pull here in an ideal world. We'd either have smaller boobies or it's slightly, <laughs> slightly bigger. You could give me some of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, it seems to be we'll the first place that it's going though, so, oh, so I've got to keep the portion. Yeah. yeah. In fact, on that note, because you're trying to balance out, if mm. you did wear a padded bra, you'd probably make your hips look smaller. Mm. Okay. okay. So don't be afraid yes. to do that. But it's fitting her absolutely beautifully. It's doing everything right. We've got the sleeves slightly pulled up here. She's got a whole bunch of her, this is her own Monica Vinada jewellery. So she's already incredibly stylish <laughs> as it zone. is. Model zone, yeah. <laughs> so that's looking really lovely. It's from Bowdoin, but we've got some other things to try on to see if they're more her actual style. Now, one thing to mention is that Ellie here said that it, she's not really feeling like her style. I showed you some boots while she was getting changed. She liked the cowboy boots, but they didn't fit. But we're thinking with a cowboy boot, that would really mm. change that look up. It would yeah. be sort of a little bit more funky. It would feel like it had more roots. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. So in an ideal world, we would have put that on, but they don't fit, so we can't. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up, we have got this, again, lovely outfit she's such a good model isn't she i said i just said to her she's going to be like my poster girl because she's so beautiful i've got all these lovely curves going on so what have we got on here we've got a wide leg trouser on so the reason we put a wide leg trouser on is so that it if we put a really tight trouser on it's going to grip around her widest part there so this way it just hangs from her widest part 
lovely jumper here from Whistles. It's actually naturally does stick out a little bit on the shoulders, but I'm still going to add a shoulder pad just because we really do need to balance that, that hip out. So we get the thinnest end and we put the thinnest end next to the neckline. And this is gonna be very, very subtle on her. But what that will do is when you are more rounded, more curved in your body shape, that's going to provide you with an angle. And where there's an angle, you're going to look slimmer, okay? Because when we put a jumper on like this, that is going to add bulk to us and almost round us further, when we put the angle in there, it helps to reform that shape again. So that is really lovely. The white band here, why have we done that? First of all, let me show you what happens when we don't do it. Okay, so the difference now is that the colours are just merging into each other. Yeah. Can you see that? Mm. The white here on the top is matched with your trainers, but yeah. when we pull that down a little bit, it's just a styling technique where everything now comes together as an outfit. But particularly on Ellie, the reason we do it is because if you just turn right the way around, if you don't mind, Ellie, or perhaps just to the side there. So because Ellie carries a little bit extra weight, like we said, around the bottom area here, and she's got this lovely, long, smooth back, what we don't want is the bottom sticking out disproportionately, Yeah. because we love a big, juicy bottom. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'm well up for a big juicy bottom, but we don't want it looking out of proportion because that's what styling yeah. is all about. So all we're going to do is pull down that white band there. It's almost going to, not quite half, but it's going to give us mm. a demarcation line here and split up that area so it's not just sort of one big, it's, it's a little bit like, you can turn back around now, it's a little bit like, you know, when we put the necklace, mm -hmm. I was going to say, if we can pull your necklace out there, yeah. when we pull the necklace out there, that's going to reduce this area and it's the same on the bottom if you find your bottom sticks out. And I've been putting it down too far, which can also be a negative. Okay, yes, because if we do... Nobody wants that. If we do like that, <laughs> yes, if you just if you just go straight in, yeah, then that's too much. It's really drawing the eye massively down to that area. So just make sure that you've got that just enough to A little sprinkle. A little a little sprinkle. That's exactly what we mean. There we go. But yeah, that looks absolutely beautiful. Really I nice. love it. I oh, absolutely good. love this. Okay, so we've found her yeah. style, her comfort yeah. zone. So let's move on to the next one. Here's an additional pair of navy trousers, but these ones have got the white stripe down. Now, what we liked about these was that the white stripe around the pocket area is actually curved. So rather than the line being distorted because of the pocket area, it actually stays in place and looks like it's vertical all the time. It's actually a very slimming quality on the trousers as well. And these ones are from me and M. Okay, so back again. So Ellie has just said she's... <laughs> I love this! I absolutely love it. Okay, breathe. Yeah. You don't know how uh, pertinent that is. I actually teach breath work. <laughs> you teach breath work? Do, oh, oh yes. is that work? I keep seeing you kind of do, doing that. Oh, I didn't realise yeah. that. How yeah. You, what do you mean you teach breath work? Well, I, I, I teach a breathing technique and it's all about sort of really connecting into sort of that quiet space and connecting into like your higher self really and self-expression is such a big part of it so for me this has been amazing because clothes is one of those things I've always been really interested in but never really had the skill to and I can see as I'm starting to feel the possibilities in the clothes ah. and in my body shape I'm just kind of looking and seeing how that might you know relate to other things so yeah oh that I, I can't see you kind of go like that I wondered what that all right so it's a dress from me and Em I think oh, it's actually it's this Basically, it's it's from the same collection, same Amazing. same company. So you can see both of our shapes are um, being recreated with the helps of the lovely pin tucks here. Really nice and cool on the sleeves as well for the summer. Although it is lined, did you mm. notice that? So it feels really um, substantial. Yeah, the quality is definitely yeah. there. You will pay a little bit more from me and M, but I wore a white dress all of last summer, and that mm. was from me and M as well, and that did really well. But again, it's allowing us the V neck here. We've actually put a pin in here because sometimes when your boobies are a little bit bigger, the top button is too tight and the bottom button is showing too much. So just get a safety pin and go somewhere in between. I think that's much better than seeing the sort of hole or 
exposing too much. A few minutes ago, I had my hands down her top here. <laughs> I think she wondered what was happening. And I was just pulling at it. And I will often do yeah. that. I'll manipulate a shape like that to get it to fit around areas. But uh, yeah, very, very lovely. That one will probably be coming home with you, I'd imagine. Absolutely. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so I've got her in some little kitten heels showing her ankles. <laughs> she thought she'd never see the day. Okay, so how we've managed it, even though she's conscious of this area is one the obvious which is the jeans aren't too cropped so if I was to go another inch on those jeans then they're probably you wouldn't feel comfortable no. even though it would look nice I get yeah. it you wouldn't feel comfortable but showing this part of the foot here so the front part of the foot is really very feminine and it's elongating your foot mm. your your um, and, and the point the pointed toe I would never go for a pointed toe yes and I can really see the benefit of that yes yeah, so that's again that's really elongating also the fact that we've got her in a slight kick out flare down here so that kick out flare without this blazer on would be balancing out her hips for a start but what it's also doing hope you can see this but it's making her ankles look smaller I think one of your ankles you said were, were swollen isn't yeah, it, at the moment. In a couple of yeah years. so we'll focus on this one at the moment because she's been on her feet all day but you can see here we've got the gap in between the ankle and the jean if that jean was tight like that it would actually make her ankles and her foot look a lot bigger so it's a little bit like I describe when you've got um, bigger arms mm -hmm. I always go for a bigger sleeve yeah. because then you've got a little stick arm coming out and lots of sleeve around it yeah. and when we go really tight it's going to make your arm look bigger also it's really nice for me to be able to get out of converse and trainers and be in a shoe that feels comfortable to walk in because I can't wear high heels anymore and yeah. it gives me a bit more of that evening look yeah totally yeah and we've gone for the the pop of colour there just yeah. to judge things up again but you know these sort of things come in black we've got a pair of black the ones there but I always think if you're going to go quite safe here let's go a little bit more risky on the shoes or something that's a little yeah. bit more trendy if that's the route you want to go down blazer wise gorgeous mm. really really lovely it's got real structure to it it feels really yeah supportive it actually reminds me of a jaeger mm. blazer but yeah. it is from marks and spencer's it's a lovely lovely fabric it's thick it's going to hold its shape well it's got great structure there for her and it's doing all the work so it's nipping <laughs> her in and it's kicking out so always come back to the hourglass shape and a blazer will do the hourglass shape for yeah. you so it's always a great finishing off tool, um, especially if you're not feeling particularly confident of your figure. Put a blazer on, leave the house yeah. suited. Okay. Mad, bright. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I looked at it and was like drawn to the colours, but there's so much going on, yet it really works. Yeah, it is. It is a mad. You've you've got to have the confidence yeah. to wear this dress. Yeah. And I think you just summed it up when you said, I feel like I'm going to go to an art gallery. Yeah. So it feels that sort of quite sophisticated, confident woman brave. type of brave, but I'm a I'm a confident woman. You know when you look at somebody yeah. and they're wearing something and you you're like, oh they're a curvy they're curvy maybe or or you're like look you're not looking at their body shape in it, you're looking at the statement yes. and the confidence yes. and they're putting it together. Yeah. You're not thinking about the you hope the proportions are good. Yeah. And that's really kind of been a lesson. Oh, good. 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 Well that's nice. That's yeah. how I want you to feel. Yeah. So it's about making you feel confident at yeah. the end of the day. So um we've got it here teamed with a Zara bag and some lovely boots obviously they come up to the knees but that's helping to prevent any ankle flash <laughs> any ankle flash <laughs> so around this bust area here the only one change i would make is it's a little bit big under there for her so what we don't want is to add any volume around this end because it's going to make her look more top heavy but i think when the sleeves are down because hopefully you're not going to be walking around like a yeah a, wafting. A <laughs> wafting. <laughs> i don't know if a hot sweat comes yeah, on you might be <laughs> you might be but what you could do then there is just have it slightly tucked in yeah so just tailored just a little bit just under that armpit just to give some shape there yeah. but it hangs beautifully really really lovely the balloon sleeves make it look really expensive what I would say is that the cuffs are really long a little bit like on um, sort of my top here even longer than that but when they were fully down the dress looked a little bit too overwhelming so we have just halved those just a little bit just to show that flesh and she looks ready for her museum trip. 
Now, one thing I do want to show you though, is when we first put it on, we didn't think it was going to work. So let me sort of half strip her down. Deconstruct. And deconstruct, that's the word. And I'll show you what we were faced with first of all. And it's only a couple of very simple um, additions. So there was this big chunky statement necklace to go with the statement dress. There was obviously the bag there and then the sleeves were sort of down like that. This would have been me in the fitting room go, no. Yes, yeah. In fact, <laughs> the boots weren't on, were yeah, they? I wouldn't have worn that length of dress before. Yeah. So can you see there how it's just kind of lost that sort of bang, really? So don't forget about these finishing touches is the point that we're trying to make. But yeah, very, very lovely. Love it. Okay, another what we think is a really practical, um, this really fits in with your lifestyle, you were saying. This is every day. This is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of ankle. Yes. Structure. Yes. Ankle? You didn't want to show ankle when no. you first came in. Oh, I'm changed. <laughs> <laughs> These are just a mum jean by the way, they're from Mango. They're a little bit tight around the waist but the shape on the leg was really good for her because what a mum jean will do, it's a little bit tapered but it will allow for the hips as well so it's a good one if you feel um, a little bit heavier in the leg. So I personally always wear a mum jean mm -hmm. because it gives me the room there as well. But it still gives us that little bit of kick out on the ankle to make the ankle look smaller. This blazer, beautiful, it's doing the work for us. And I love her in this dark maroon colour as well. And it's great with that little flash of white as well. Yes, exactly. So when we do hide the white, the dark maroon sort of just fades into the navy. So just be aware of that when you've got two strong colours. And the white just helps lift that a little bit. The lovely cross bag, that we use that to sort of separate this area up the jewelry lovely practical stylish really really nice gorgeous and really interchangeable with the other items that you yeah. picked as well lovely and this is another jumpsuit that Ellie had, which she looked very beautiful in, but unfortunately the footage was corrupted, but I will link it in the description box along with all the other links. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Next week's video, we've got some more Body Shape Masterclasses coming through. I'm not sure whether that'll be up for next week or not. And I'd like to put up an insight into how online styling actually works. And like I said, I, I have started videoing a few of them. And and so if one of those ladies allows me to put one up, then I will put that up next week for you and you can get a real insight into how an international online Zooming session actually works. Remember, all of the links are under where the video plays in the description box. I'll also put it as the first comment box as well. But bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.